I'm Hi-Fi, let's get started. Meet the new community, the Forsaken. They have one job, keep us entertained, and, okay, two jobs, keep us entertained and log the hero bonus of the legacy survivors while, shit, okay, three, three jobs, entertain, log the hero bonus, and store the items of those I want to delete from the legacy pool. And when we have that four, four damn jobs, they have four damn jobs. They must entertain, log the hero bonus, store all their items, and decide if worthy to keep their humanity. We join our community with their first initiation, Saw. She has been appointed IT, therefore she is allowed to keep the weapons she already has equipped. But first, we must make the Holy Molly of Antioch. So she sources a fuel outpost, turns it to level two. All right, folks, the outpost is up and running. Having a play cart move in must really fuck up property values. Then is rewarded with a Holy Molly for her first heart. After entering the rear, she decides all the stank is getting out, so she wants to shut the door. And then I use a godlike power to tweak the lights a bit so we can see. She uses the mamba to uh, get the first spew. And then gets caught in the gas cloud while she's being bit. Taking in a whole bunch of plague heart sparts into her lungs. At this point she's realizing this is probably not a good place to do some plague sample farming. So she tries to retreat over a couple of walls. The first one is okay. The second one can't be traversed because of all the debris. Which she would have known that had she looked first. Having to climb over that wall, discovering that the zombies cannot follow her over that wall. They have to come around and in doing so they've lost sight and have no idea exactly where I'm at, just where I was. She was going to shoot him and decided not to. And right here is where the game cheats a little bit. Yeah, that was bullcrap. Better be careful. Catching the plague would really cramp my style. She takes him off with one stroke. Boom. Realizing that there's now a horde on the map. The super massive horde of one. <laughs> decides to go ahead and shoot it but the stupid box is in the way the whole time finally gets the headshot only to have a plague zombie alerted to my presence which then alerts two more which these slow-mo headshots alert the third or fourth zombie Having dispatched of this with ease, we go in for the final assault on the heart. Of course, it's blocked, so we just run in, shoot, miss one. Who gets us? We shoot it, and then we decide to just destroy the heart as fast as possible. Well, you weren't so fucking tough. And now she fulfills her first commandment. Oh, this is probably where we should talk about the rules. Rule one, you leave the compound with a combat weapon and a backpack only and kill a heart with whatever you may find. Rule two, before removing from the locker, you must put eight pockets worth of items into the locker. Rule three, after completing rule one and two, you must find a car so I don't have to walk back. Rule 4. These can be amended at any time by popular vote. Switching to Braden, we give him a screwdriver and a backpack, and he's allowed to leave with one holy molly. Right away, he finds a good backpack and a crossbow, and decides that he should test it out. That shut you the fuck up! After an uneventful walk to get the Impala, Braden gets a little upset when uh, people touch his car. 
and so they must pay a price. And after that price is paid, he finds the Death Cove, gets some useless weapons, but good ammo. And on the way out, gets a horde spawn that could only be described as cheating. But no matter. Braden's a stud. He gives three in the brain. Reloads the crossbow. Gives one more into the brain. And kills the other two with his shovel. <laughs> Finish it. All that then he finds this. the largest package in the smallest container. After acquiring that, make sure the boon traders are happy. Gotta keep the boon traders happy. I said don't touch the car. So, you ready to start dealing? Sure. Find an antenna, then go home, put on some Barry White, and get that baby erect as soon as possible. Hey, did you miss me? While waiting, Braden decided to give a tribute to Peter Gabriel and go all sledgehammer on the next heart. I then park in a horrible spot. I screw up the button timing. Fuck. I'm beat. Just make a mess of the whole thing. After a very clumsy cleanup of the Zeds, I stumble in to try to get the second phase done on the heart and fumble that up even worse somehow. I need a breather. <laughs> Upon completing the second round cleanup, he goes back in for the final assault on the heart, which only takes two strokes. <laughs> He grabs payment for his trick and then heads home to take a long shower. Anybody got ears on? Anyone alive, I mean? Request received. We'll ask around for any local volunteers. 
Gotta stay away from the sick fucking Z's. Recruit number five has been predetermined to not have to go through the trial. He is the only character I've ever had to cause a fight in standard difficulty. Yes, standard difficulty. So he gets the dubious honor of being the first. So he makes the leap of shame in order to save what little bit of honor he had left. There's not much in me that doesn't hurt. Upon doing this two or three times, he thinks he may have discovered a new game mechanic where there's no more death from falling. I once had a, a young, dim-winted lass accidentally throw herself off of a billboard three times to die but that was update 35 maybe in 36 it's different So after yeeting himself off the cliff nine times, I started to wonder if he was immortal. So I decided to put that to the test. Really, I just got bored. He does last a while, though. After falling through the night, he finally lays down to take his sleep. Colin, the undertaker, decided that he needs to experience the trek of the damned so that he may better empathize with those that lose the battle. He rolls up in a 6-4 You never do get used to the smell. Shiv some fool in the front door, then brings another one to the floor. Stabbing the heart to save on flame, so now I'll watch as this pro aims. I can't catch my breath. It's damaged. Just gotta keep at it. Leg heart down. It's not easy. Using the last of the clip to relieve his heartache, he gets a nice reward on the ride home. But first, why not subscribe to see what else this deranged bastard might load to YouTube at Hi-Fi 420. And now the reward. Some cinegraphic autoerotica. erotica 
Well, I'm aroused. Arriving at base, I decree one shall throw the holy molly on the count of five. Three, sir. Right, three. Fire the hole! We're almost out of this. With all the empathy Colin needs, Soft decided that she didn't ruin enough boy's life in high school and needs to destroy another heart. Don't shake your head, that was funny. Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ha, 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 staying alive. While finding gas, the Ray Santos Hello, quest I'm triggered, nice so you. I get to waste Thanks. the best plot armor on a heart that's already cheesable. Give me some gas, will you? She slashes the heart for its first orgasm, then thought she would get a little fancy with the pipe bomb. Not the smartest approach. It's hurting! Don't let up now! After the gas, she gives us its third orgasm of the night, which kills it. Which, you know, all good things come in threes, right? Am I right? Ladies? So loot the shattered dreams and have a small bit of smug satisfaction that we gotta use Ray for once. Time for another trial. Look, you know I'll keep at this until someone answers? I am exactly that annoying, so speak up already. I'll see if our network contacts can find someone nearby who can help you out. Even six-time legacy Lauren is not immune to the threats of fate. What will happen? So give a like and stay subscribed. You never know what will happen to the Forsaken. Thanks for watching. The Google Masters think you might want to see the video on the left. If you like this humor, you might like this long-ass video on the right. Now enjoy my impression of Mr. Mackey, okay? Not bad, not bad.